Hey there everybody, today I have the Carpenter Brooklyn Field Watch, $825 with a Swiss Eta 2824 automatic movement from the Carpenter Watches website. This has a 40 millimeter by 48 millimeter lug to lug case, 13 millimeter stick including that domed sapphire crystal, 20 millimeter lugs. Now, if you're familiar with Carpenter watches, and if you're not, they had a Kickstarter campaign about two years ago. The designer, Neil, is based out of Brooklyn, New York. Now, I looked on their website, and at this particular time, I cannot find anything. I also looked around different articles and reviews before I started this video. I cannot find anything that says they are assembled in Brooklyn, and I originally thought that they were. That is my mistake, apparently. Um, I cannot find anything to back that up, so as far as I know, they are not assembled here in the United States um, in Brooklyn. They are only designed in Brooklyn, if you will. But uh, taking a look at the watch, you, you know, you have definitely a field pilot, almost trench style uh, case with those wire lugs. Now, they're not true wire lugs in the sense that there is a spring bar in between them that is not a solid bar. Let me go ahead here, give you a closer look at the dial and the movement. So as you saw from the close-up, it does have a matte dial with a very, very, very fine texture. You do have that date cut out there at the 3 o'clock position. It's kind of a crowded date, especially when you get into the double digits. It's not cutting anything off, but it's... It's just a little small of a cutout for me. I also personally would have loved a white on black date cutout, but I know, you know, when you get into date wheels, uh, you know, depending on where you're buying your movements, the price can go up a little bit if you're trying to get matchy with it. Do have that wired, those wired lugs, and you know, you have this nice suede brown leather strap. It is lightly padded. This whole watch has that vintage feel and vintage theme going on it. You know, modern components, but that vintage feel. Speaking of that, uh, interestingly, and it's weird that I get two watches in similar uh, at a time for review. This is the Lumtech Combat Field X1. And you're gonna see some distortion here because this has a super high dome uh, sapphire crystal on it. But the reason I brought this out here real quick is this is still very much the traditional um, uh, version of this watch where this one to me is the much more modern version and I just thought that was kind of neat but back to the Carpenter Brooklyn field as I said it is very traditional this is also 40 millimeters versus the Lumtech which is 43 millimeters so this one is definitely going to be um, for people that want that smaller size more true to the vintage style Overall quality, I find to be very good. It is a very, very highly polished case. Actually, I won't even call it high polish. It is mere polish. Um, as you could see in that close, uh, the close-ups there, you, you could see reflections of everything. You could see me, the camera set up, the lights and everything. So just be aware, this is a super reflective watch all over the crystal, the um, case and everything like that. Um, it does come, I, I'll have pictures of it on watchreport.com. You can click the link in the description below. It does come in this nice wood case. Just open it up for you here real quick. Actually, this comes in a whole huge presentation, and I don't have the camera zoomed out enough right now to see the whole thing, but it's crazy. You have this huge solid wood box that comes in this big, huge cardboard box that's packed into another box, and there's foam, and there's a sleeve, and then it comes in a huge shipping box. So they definitely went all out in presentation. My thing is, is how much did all that presentation cost? I am somebody, now you may be completely different. 
always remember that whatever I say here, you know, certain things, of course, are fact, but a lot of what I say here is opinion. My opinion on the watch, my opinion on the pricing, everything like that. We, I, you know, I come from my perspective, which is the only perspective I can come from, and you may feel differently. You know, the, the best importance are, to me of these type of videos and these type of reviews is to give you a really good look at the watch. But how much did all of the packaging cost? I don't know. Could you have went with more standard packaging and reduced the price of the watch? You know, you're looking at $825. The design is simple, and I'm not saying that it was cheap. It is a very nice looking watch. The the high polish, the super mirror polish isn't exactly for me. I mean, it's, it, you know, for lack of a better word, that super mirror polish is a little blingy to me. It's a little ostentatious, and that sounds silly to say, but I'm just not a huge fan of super high polish watches like this. I prefer a brush or a matte finish or a bead blasted or whatever, or you know, just elements of uh, high polish. But it is a really good looking watch and Carpenter Watches, by the way, has actually been very successful. And I, I hate to say the word actually, but there's so many micro brands these days and it's a very competitive space. And Carpenter Watches seems to be killing it. They, uh, you know, seem, you know, if you go to their website right now, a lot of their watches are sold out. They're working on more stock for the regular line. The limited edition cream dial of this sold out with, I think, in a week and a half. So they are doing very well. And uh, people seem to be, uh, you know, gravitating towards this brand and towards this style. So if you like what you see here, you want to read about more of it, click the link in the description. It'll take you over to WatchReport.com. You can follow me at WatchReport on social media. We are, of course, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You could follow Carpenter Watches um, on Instagram and Facebook as well. This has been a look at the Brooklyn Field M2S limited edition to 50 pieces from Carpenter Watches. This has been Donovan's for WatchReport.com. Check the end of the video there for a wrist shot and for a limb shot as well.